Today on Mike Attempts, repairing an impact wrench. I was helping my friend with a brake job when my seven-year-old impact wrench started acting up. Air is constantly escaping and it rotates at a low RPM without touching the trigger. Clamp the air hose fitting in a vise and use a screwdriver to depress the metal tabs on both sides of the handle. Once both tabs are fully depressed, grab the impact wrench with both hands and pull. I checked the o-ring for damage and it seems fine. However, when I move the trigger valve to a specific spot, it doesn't spring back to the center. I don't think it's supposed to do that. I found a little chunk of something stuck in the grease on the side of the inlet assembly. I don't have snap ring pliers, so I used a small scissor multi-tool to remove the retaining ring. Once the snap ring has been removed, just pull on the valve to remove it, the seat, and the seat support. This must be the problem. There's a chunk missing from the seat. I think I only needed a new seat, but I had to order the whole air inlet kit, which was only 14 bucks. See the description below for a link to the kit. Pull off the inlet clip, followed by the washer. I had already pulled out the old spring and used a pick to remove the old o-ring. Slide on the new washer, lube up the new o-ring, and pull it down into the groove. Use a pick to go around the o-ring to be sure it isn't twisted. Insert the new spring with the smaller end pointing up. The new seat support only properly fits one side of the seat, so figure out which way is up before sticking the new valve through the center and compressing the spring with the new seat. Use something rounded to avoid damaging the new seat as you evenly push it down past the snack ring groove. Drop the new seat support down on top and reinsert the new snap ring, making sure it's fully seated in the groove. Finally, snap on the inlet clip. Lube up the whole inlet assembly with some light grease. Reinsert the trigger so that the open end is in the center of the handle shaft. Slide the inlet assembly back into the handle. Use a screwdriver to depress the metal tab slightly so that it'll slide in the rest of the way. Push the impact wrench against a hard surface to seat the metal tabs in the handle slots. Put around 8 to 10 drops of air tool oil down the air hose fitting and test it out. Success! Good as new. Feel free to rate this video, add your comments and questions below, and subscribe for more.